Hi there, I'm Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today's Friday when we do crafting and today we have a really special craft that's gonna be simple and inexpensive and fun for even kids to do. Before we get started, I wanna thank my subscribers and remind you that uh, when I hit 500, which we're about a little, a little less than 200 away, um, I will be sending a little goodie bass or goodie box, not basket, to someone who's been making comments. So be sure to make comments so that you can be entered into that drawing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. And remember, if you share, give me that thumbs up and make comments, that really helps to boost my channel to help it grow. So without further ado, let's get started on the craft. So today's craft, this is all you need. I have a canvas. This one's from Crafter Square. It doesn't really matter what size you have as long as what you're putting on it will fit. And then I have some of these window clings from Dollar Tree. So I'll be using, I'm gonna use the pumpkin and then we'll see if I add anything else. So really the project is costing less than $3. Uh, and then I'll be using a little bit of my paints. I have um, my acrylic paints. I have cadmium yellow and cadmium deep red, or red deep hue and vermilion and cadmium orange. I just thought those were some really pretty fall colors. I'm not gonna do green because I've got green in this and so I thought I didn't want it to blend in. So let's move this out of the way and let me get my X-Acto knife to take the plastic off of this. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now when I'm doing actual paintings, I usually prep my, my canvas, but I'm not going to do that for this. So we'll see. And I'm just using just a chippy brush that I have. So I'm going to start with my deepest color at the bottom. I'm just going to put a few little dots. Woo, that was a big dot. So was that one. <laughs> And then I'm going to, let's see, this orange is a little bit deeper than the other one. There may not be a whole lot of difference between these oranges, but it'll give, oh yeah, there is. Oh my goodness, that one's going <laughs> to, ooh, sometimes it comes out hardly any, and sometimes it's a lot. And then we'll do some yellow up here. All right. Nice, Karen. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. A bull in a china shop I have been called before. There we go. Yes, I'm gonna turn my heat off for a minute here. We, it's supposed to still be like summer because it's only the beginning of September, but we are having some cooler weather. Okay, then I'm just going to just start just brushing this back and forth. I have some parchment paper under me so I don't have to worry about getting it on my surface. Makes easier cleanup. And I'm just blending them together. And I've got some of the orange and stuff on the brush. It doesn't matter. I just like to just get a whole bunch of different dimensions. Just going to keep going back and forth until I get it looking the way I want. Bring some more red up here. I think I'm going to do some different directions too. I don't know if I'll like that or not, but... Just get some texture on here. There is no right or wrong. Whatever you end up with that you like. Now I'm getting a lot on the sides here, so let me kind of clean that up a little. I think I want some more red up here just to add a little spice. more on the other side. Let's let's get all this paint off. I'm 
Let's experiment. Maybe some squiggles. Let's see how that looks. I like lots of texture, so. No, I just like it this way. So let's go back and make it all go this way. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry and then we'll go on to the next step. I decided I needed a little bit more bright in the middle where I'm going to have that pumpkin. So I am just almost making like a starburst effect here. So it's a little brighter there. I just put some more yellow on top of everything. Okay. All right, we're ready for step two. Everything is dried. Um, I've got this cling off of the sheet. I was hoping that this would be a little more translucent, but that's that, or transparent is what I meant. Um, but that's okay. It'll still work. I just didn't need to do that yellow on there. Oh, it's sticking. There we go. So I'm going to use some Mod Podge to just put it on to the... Oh, this is a brand new one. Let me grab one that's not... Here we go. Got a little Dollar Tree one here. Might as well use that one up first. Ooh, I need a little bit more there. Okay. And I, I like to use these foam brushes. You can use a regular brush too. I am just going to, I'm gonna cover the whole surface just so that it all has the same sheen to it, I guess you would say. So that's probably not enough Mod Podge. It's gonna take a bit. Just make sure I've got the whole thing covered. I'm excited for my next project. I am, if you like Highland cows, I'm gonna do a pill bottle version of a Highland cow. And I'll show you what I've got. I'll show you what I've got drying right now. I use air dry clay to make my hoofs, hooves and my muzzle and that kind of stuff, my horns. So I'll show you that in just a second. Gotta wait for them to dry and then we'll be making that project. Unless I get my videos mixed up and post that one first. <laughs> I usually try to post or film quite a few in advance just because life can get crazy and I want to be able to be consistently um, posting. Okay, so now I'm just going to put that right in the center. I'm going to use, where is it? Oh, well, I guess I'm not. I'll just use my little, this little thing. I just don't want to get Mod Podge on it, just to make sure I get all of the air bubbles out. Okay. And then I don't know if I want to put anything else. There's really not anything little. Maybe this leaf. Oh, except the... If they were totally trans, whoops, I'm peeling off the cardboard. If they were totally trans, oh, they are, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this leaf right there. That'll be kind of cute. And let's see about the acorns up someplace else. <laughs> Sometimes I can't get these off of it, there we go. There, that just adds a little bit to it. All right, and then I'm going to squirt out some more Mod Podge. I'm gonna put a coat over that so that it is good and stuck. Sorry if that was loud. So you see, this is this is so simple. If I were still at the youth center, we would have the kids doing stuff like this because it's so simple and they would have so much fun. 
And of course you can make it fancier or not fancier, whatever you want, but so, so inexpensive because I mean like these, there's a whole bunch left on the sheet and it was $1.25 for the whole sheet. So I will bet even with the cost of the paints and stuff, this project is about maybe $3 if you had to buy everything new. And of course you can do this on a, a wooden surface or any, any kind of a surface. I just had these canvases and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do it on a canvas. And I like these because they're thin, so I can just prop them up on a shelf or something like that. All right, that's all there is to it. And when it dries, I will post a picture of the finished product.